Hello everyone. Today we shall see about product and product x functions. Here we have few points to remember. In product in product and product x functions, only numbers are considered. Rest blank logical values and text values are ignored. Product function takes only one column. Product x function takes table and expression. Okay, we could say column or any other expression. This these functions are not supported in direct query mode and when it is used in calculated columns or row level security rules. Let us explore the function. Okay, I'll show you some data where I have few numbers like from one to five. Suppose that we have we want product of these numbers. Okay, five into four into three into two into one. Okay, suppose that we want multiplication of the all the numbers which are present in the column. We use this product function. Okay, I'm quickly creating a new measure. I'll uh, rename it as multiplication by product equal to. Let us type product bracket open. The column name is numbers table value column. I'll close the parenthesis. Okay, I'll go to home tab. Take a text card. I'll click on this multiplication measure. Which I have made, you could see that result is 120. If you product from 5 to 1, 5 factorial, it is 120. Okay, we have understood the product function. Let us move on to the product x function. In the documentation, we have uh, like have we have an example which is present value into product x annuity period in like comma the expression is 1 plus fixed interest rate. We use this formula to calculate the investment based on the interest rates provided. Okay, this on the basis of investment to see the end output after few years, what is our uh, final, uh, you know, principal amount into interest calculated on number of years. Okay, here I have shown you an example for interest rates. Here you could see that there are ten years. We have uh, you know fluctuating interest rates. And if the interest is calculated, it is like 1.03 for the first year, 1.04 for second year. But the total interest is multiplied. Okay, the first first total interest we have 1.03 for second year. It would be like 1.03 into 1.04. Okay, that is how it is calculated. Let us uh, see how it works in the Power BI. I have made an investment table. Where I have this interest rates and years. Okay, let us take these two columns into a table. I have my years and I have my interest rates. I'll click on the years. Don't summarize. Okay, here we have got a table. Here we have a table where it it reflects the years and sum of interest rates. All what we need is to calculate based on the investment made. Okay, suppose that we invest hundred rupees, and let us see the output after ten years. I'll quickly make a measure. Here I'll write product x example. Okay, equal to. We have the formula which is provided in the documentation. Like for present value, suppose that we are investing hundred rupees. Hundred rupees multiplied by. Okay, here I'll type product x. It is the function which helps us in the product with over a period of years. In the table parameter, I'll provide the table parameter as investment. I'll put a comma. Okay, the expression we have the expression one plus interest rates. Okay, we have this one plus interest rates. I'll uh, press shift enter. I'll close the bracket. Okay, if we click over here and bring the product example measure to the table, let us bring the measure to the table. Here you could see that the values are like 1.103, 1.04, 1.03.5, 1 all these, but these are not appropriate. Let us see how to calculate the values appropriately. Okay, here we have this function and the present value, but in order to calculate uh, this. Appropriate values which are required for on yearly basis. What we have to do is we have to include this function within calculate function. I'll write calculate 
I'll open the bracket. In the first parameter, we have included the product x function. Okay, the same function which is mentioned in the documentation. In I'll put a comma after the first parameter. The second parameter you could see it is filter function. I'll write filter bracket open. In the first parameter, I'll provide investment. I'll put a comma. In the filter expression, I'll write years investment years less than or equal to max bracket open. I'll write again investment years. This is a condition which which could help us evaluate in row context and multiply the respective interest rates. Okay, I'll close the parenthesis. Okay, I'll shift enter, close the parenthesis, and click OK. Okay, here when, once I entered it, even after evaluating, you could see that there is no change in the table. Okay, there is no change in the table. The reason is the filters are acted in row wise, which is restricting this product x getting multiplied in each and every row. So to avoid filters, to remove the filters which are applied on this table, what we have to do is in the filter condition, in this investment table, we have to remove filters. So I'll write all function before investment. Okay, This function would help me remove the filters in the filter condition. Okay, You could see that now I have removed this. I'll click here and let us see the values if they are working fine. I'll, you could see that now the values are working fine 103, 107.12 and similarly it is like cumulative and then we have the result as 139.02. This is how product x function works. Okay, and uh, you could revise and practice with the sample data. I hope product and product x functions are now understandable. Thank you for watching and we shall meet in the next video.